Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Edward Ornelas. In today's video, we're going to be doing this animated scrolling effect. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So first off, the first animation will go in from left to right. The second one will have this nice delayed uh, animation for our photos with my little dog right there, that's Daisy. And the last one is this uh, down to up animation. It's all going to be using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The JavaScript portion is going to be very simple and easy to do. So if you guys enjoy this content, please be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, let's get into it. To get started, guys, we have to create our index.html file. So first of all, let's right click, add new file, which is label it index.html. And then we just simply hold shift exclamation point and just hit enter. That's going to give us our basic document structure. At the very bottom of that, we're going to link our CSS and our JavaScript. So to do that, we simply type in link. We add a style sheet. And then we add a href, an href. And we just simply label that style.css. Then we just close it off. The last one is going to be, of course, our JavaScript. So we add script. We also add a, a defer. That way our JavaScript loads in after our HTML and CSS. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So please make sure to add that defer tag and then add a source. So we're going to name this app.js and then we simply close that off as well. Once we do that, we just hit control save. And then on the left corner, we then just add our new files. So let's add in our style.css and then also our app.js. So let's go back to our HTML and into inside the body tags, you can then just input all of your uh, structure, right? Once I copied mine in, as you can see, we have three sections. We have our first section where I have my name, a quick description. The second section where we have another description with the photos underneath it. And the third section where we have uh, the header tag and some paragraph as well. So to better explain that, let's open up our live server. So right here we have our live server. There's no styling going on. So it looks pretty atrocious, but you guys can see my cute little dog, Daisy, looking all gimpy. I thought it was a funny photo, so I just added it in there. But now that we have all of our elements and structure in the HTML, we then go into our styles.css and we start to style it. The first thing we're going to style is the body tag. All right, let's actually give it a background color. We're going to change its font and we're going to change its font size. So I'm simply just going to copy that over from the example because that is all stylistic choice. So it, uh, as, as you can see, it already changed the background and the font and font size. But now let's actually change the words to a something that's more visible. So we're going to add this nice little yellow hue to it. And then secondly, just to make sure, you know, we're going to just give it a padding of zero and a margin of zero. So let's do that right now. Now we get into the meat of it and we're going to then edit our sections. So if you guys remember, we divided our HTML into three sections. We have the section tabs, one, two, three. So when we go back to our CSS, we're going to try to center everything in the middle. The easiest way to do that is by adding a display of grid. Okay. We're going to then place items in the center. So it place items center. And then we're going to align contents in the center as well. So we're going to say align content center. As you can see, now everything is in the middle, no matter how much we scroll up or down, or I'm sorry, left to, left to right. So now everything's straight in the middle. We're also going to give it a space in between each section. That's what's going to differentiate every single section. That way we have a good uh, spacing between. That way we have a good parallax effect or animate scroll effect, I'm sorry. So we're going to give that a minimum height of 
let's do 110. When I was doing 100, it didn't quite work as well. But now, as you can see, it separated each section into its own. So now we have space in between each section. And that is it. Now we simply move on to our effect of actually getting it to do that animation, right? So to first do that, we go back into our HTML and we're going to give it a class. We're going to give it a class of hidden. So we gave every single section a class of hidden. In the second section, we gave the photos themselves a hidden class, not the section. So that's the only one where we're not going to give it a class of hidden, but I'll explain why that's important. So now we're going to go into our JavaScript. So in our JavaScript, we're going to bring in the element observer, but because we added all of the classes, but because we labeled all of our divs with a hidden class, we can then go into our JavaScript and then just bring it in. That way it knows what to select. The next thing to add is the intersection observer. The cool thing about this is that it can observe multiple entries or functions at the same time. This function will run anytime the visibility or observed element changes. So because it handles multiple entries, we need to use a for each to loop over them. We're then going to give them a show show class. And for every time that it is intersecting, we're going to say that it's going to activate, right? And then afterwards, we're going to add a remove uh, class as well for every time that it is off screen. So that way it can appear and reappear or we want to activate and get, of course, a whatever transformation we want to give it to. So we're then just going to say, hey, look, for every we want our observer to observe every single element within the uh, observe element. So if you guys want to just simply pause the section and then we can move on over to our styles.css. So once we're done with the JavaScript portion, we then move over to our CSS section and we bring up our hidden class that we gave all of our sections. So as you can see right here, we also gave it to our images and lastly to our third section. So the first thing we're going to do is add an opacity of zero. Well, then we're going to give it a blur effect. So I'm just copying this over. That way it's just faster for me to do. And then we're going to give it a translate and transitioned uh, delay, oh, I'm sorry, transition uh, period of one second, meaning that that's going to take a second for it to transition. And we're going to translate it uh, down, or I'm sorry, left uh, to uh, negative 100, meaning that it's not going to be in the frame. You guys can see right here that they are completely gone other than this section because we did not give it a uh, hidden class. Uh, right here, we did not give that a hidden class. So to bring it back, all we simply have to do is go back to our styles.css and then add a show class and simply give it an opacity of one because in our hidden, we gave it a zero and now we're going to give it a one, meaning it's going to be visible. We're then going to remove that blur effect by giving it a zero and again, our translate to zero because now it's going to be back to where it originally started. So now when we start over and we were simply refresh this, you can see that now our uh, animation begins, okay? And essentially, you're, we could be done right here. This is it. This is all you would need for you guys to, uh, to get that transitioning effect. But I want to take it a step further and I don't want to finish right there. So secondly, we're going to now try to work with our images and do that delayed effect that I was talking about earlier. So to first do that, we first have to adjust our images. So I'm going to give it an image width of 150 by 150. We're going to give it a border radius of 20 and a margin of seven. Essentially what that's going to do is make them a little bit smaller and then kind of give them a rounded off edge. We're then also going to add a logos, logos, um, class to our div within the images and then we're going to add each we're going to add a logo not logos but logo um, to our oh, to our image as well so we simply control save we then go back to our CSS and then we're going to now define our logos by giving it a display of flex. And what that's going to do is then put them side by side rather than up uh, top to bottom. And now we simply just control every single 
individual one. So as of now, they all load in at the same time. So best way we can do it to where it has that transitioning at like a uh, wave effect, where then we're just going to affect each transition by adding a delay in each single one of them. So by doing that, we have to add a logo nth child, essentially affecting each individual one. So by saying nth child, so we're going to affect its second child rather than its first. So we're saying second, and we're going to give it a defined transition delay. So we're saying transition delay by 200 milliseconds, right? So let's bring this in right here. And so now when we refresh this, it should in theory have a small delay. You can't really see it but once we affect all of them, it should be way more apparent. So we're simply just going to copy this and then paste this over three times. And then we're going to change this one to three and this one to four. And then we're going to give this one a millisecond delay of 400 and this one of 600. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I forgot to give this a class. I was wondering so why it's not working. But now when we refresh it, you guys can see it's got a nice delay. Also, this has to be four rather than three. So there we go. And so now we have this nice stylized delayed effect. That's like a wave, kind of like a wave effect. Obviously, you can change these numbers as you would like. It doesn't have to be 200, 400, 600. You can make this faster, slower. And now lastly, if you guys remember, we have one final effect that is essentially, uh, instead of doing it a side to side transition, we're going to do a bottom to top transition, right? So it's going to be a nice little subtle transition. And to do that, we simply have to go back up to our, um, actually it's going to our HTML and go into the third section. And instead of giving it a hidden element, we're simply just going to say hidden two, right? So we're creating a new class for it. We then go into our H, uh, CSS, I'm sorry. And we're going to copy and just bring that down over. But we're going to remove the transform translate X over to a Y. So simply Y. And then we're going to change the percentage from one negative 100% to 30%, right? So essentially we want it to go down to up. So I'm sorry, I need to add the two. So once we add the transform translate Y, we're not done yet. As you can see, it is not working on our live server. That is because we have to add it to our JavaScript. So as of now, the uh, query selector is not defining the hidden element, meaning it's not applying every time we intersect it. So all we have to do is simply add a comma and just simply add dot hidden element or hidden two, okay? And so that should be it. We don't touch the show elements. We don't necessarily have to. And so now, when we refresh, it should give us that nice, that nice uh, transition. As you can see, it's very subtle. If we go back to our CSS, we can actually exaggerate this. Let's do like 70%. As you can see, it works now. But if you would like to even kind of give it a better ex exemption, I'm sorry, explanation, we can then also add a delay similar to what we did to our photos. Let's bring this over, uh, below the transition. We'll add a transition delay. That way, when we go into it, you can see it delays by a certain millisecond. So in this case, we can do even like 200 just so it's not as crazy. And then now it pulls up. So simple as that, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. More tutorials to come. I hope this, this was a simple tutorial for you guys to understand. And if you guys want to check out, go down to the description below to check out the code for you guys to just simply copy and paste as you would like. And before we end the video, we also want you guys to go check out mirror.io. This is our uh, company where we simply help small businesses or established companies to do um, development design, uh, SEO, social media management, whatnot. So go check that out if you guys are interested in that. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.